Hello. Good uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whenever. Uh, welcome to my video. Uh, my name is Beatrix Groves McDaniel and uh, I am a tutor for the Workers' Educational Association, which I'm sure some of you will know. Uh, and I'm also, as it happens, one of the WEA's ambassadors, which is a, a national honorary title, I suppose you could say, uh, in which I spend quite a bit of time being the WEA's, um, my critical friend, I suppose, and also promoting the interests of the association and its educational priorities and interests. I wanted to uh, make a re this recording uh, primarily because I think one of the crucial things about the WEA that's hardly ever discussed in video, hardly even mentioned in video, is some of the reasons why the association exists and what's really important about it. I suppose for people who are coming to the uh, association for the very first time, maybe a bit ignorant, I suppose is the right word, um, about how the association operates, what it's supposed to be for, and how it came into being. In particular, in particular what makes it different from all the other bodies that are available both online and in your local area, which provide further an adult education or higher education. I mean, why pick the Workers' Educational Association as opposed to anything else? So this uh, video is coming to you with that particular issue in mind. Uh, and it's, I suppose, also my attempt at an introduction for students who are taking up courses with the WA for the first time, and in particular my courses. Um, as I said to you earlier, I'm a tutor um, for the WA and I work for the association for a very long time indeed. Uh, in fact, I've been around the WA since 1984 and you can work out exactly how long, how long that is. Uh, it, <coughs> it is a, a, a long time to be doing this sort of job, which is something I've thoroughly enjoyed for every second I've done it. And also the fact that I've been here as, as volunteer, tutor, ambassador, employee of various types, uh, is an indicator to a certain extent of my enthusiasm for this association. And everything that it stands for. So that's an indicator there is something special going on here, something more than just the very idea of doing a course, doing something educational, learning things. I suppose at the end of the day if you were just talking about learning things then you've got huge choice in the in this country, in the UK, United Kingdom. You have uh, the further education colleges, your local authority courses, you have training organizations of various types, you have online systems uh, which span the planet, you have the universities, you have your night classes of various types that you can think of, uh, and in amongst all of this there is the WEA. So why? Why pick this one? Well, let's start by some history. With the history, you may gain some idea as to why this, this organization is special. The, the, the WEA, the Workers' Educational Association, has a, a unique title. The word workers in it may give it the impression that this is a left-wing body of some sort. And it has to be said that it came out of the labor and, and social change movement of the 19th century. It, it was an original, original uh, offshoot of that kind of developmental process that was happening in the late 19th century and the start of the 20th century. The WBA came as a result of what you might call uh, Christian socialism. Uh, the person who founded it, uh, a guy called Albert Mansbridge, was a Methodist lay, lay preacher, amongst other things, and he had a, a a fascination for education and also a passion for the idea of spreading it around a bit and in particular he was interested in the idea that uh, the average working person should have access to learning, uh, purposeful learning, that was at a higher level than that being offered at the time. I suppose if you were interested in, 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 in 
doing any learning at all when you know when the uh, in the 1890s 1900s and so on then the best thing you could probably manage at the time would have been things such as qualifications which were related to the kind of work you wanted to do those sorts of ideas but the idea of doing anything that was um, more for, your, for expanding your knowledge of the world at large and your, the idea of expanding your political and social and economic uh, experience just didn't occur um, and what was on offer was limited to say, to say the least. So Mansbridge wanted to create an organization that would offer that sort of work, that sort of learning to the everyday working originally man and I sound sexist but in fact this was the original idea his first title for this organization was believe it or not an association to promote the higher education of working men otherwise known as Afume. not a very good title uh, but it was changed shortly shortly afterwards to the workers educational association pr primarily because it became pretty clear-cut that the uh, access to education process had to include women as well, made more so by the uh, the fact that Mansbridge's wife was the first treasurer of his new organisation, and as contributed, so the legend goes, two in six from her house her housekeeping budget as the first float <laughs> for the, the the new WEA. So we are founded on household contributions. It's where it all started, really. There was also at the time something called the Oxford Conference. The Oxford Conference was a was a coming together of interested parties organised by Mansbridge around uh, this promoting this new body. And uh, there were there was an involvement by the trade union movement. They knew the cooperatives and the uh, university extension lecture lecture uh, lectures system. Uh, uh, they, the, the, these bodies came together to give give the I suppose the new WEA a bit of structure. Uh, if anybody's ever known anything about the W, will know it. It has a kind of structural system, not a little like a trade union, in the sense we have local branches that, that operate as the ground level consultancy and organisational system for, for the production of, of the educational work. We have employees, much in the way that you would expect to see uh, uh, you know, the trade union officers to operate. Uh, we have also a kind of cooperative venture on a national national basis in what we do, in the sense that this is highly, you know, at least in its initial, initial stages, was a highly devolved and highly localized organization with for lots of local uh, activity. And also, the, the, we needed academic tutors in order to do the teaching, so they tended to come out of the university extension system in the initial stages, at the very least. Later on, we had what you might call trained professional tutors who were. Uh, adult education specialist like myself. So the the association came into being by 1903, and by 1910, it was already in existence in the northeast of England, uh, where I live. And contrary to popular belief, I have not been involved in in this association ever since that particular period. Now, I, I for me, it was 1984. But what's different? I mean, the history is interesting, as it was in its own right. What's different about all this? Well, the crucial thing about the WEA is it's not just an educational provider. It is also a voluntary body. It has a very strong and active voluntary movement. In fact, you might, might even go far as say it's a, a militant voluntary movement. By militant, I mean to say that the people who get involved in the WEA on a, on a, uh, on a voluntary level, an unpaid basis, are often some of its most enthusiastic and um, uh, active supporters. Volunteers have, have run the basic ground level access to the WEA's uh, uh, provision. In a sense, they form the heart of the WEA branch. And the WEA branch locally of, is, is the deciding body that provides whatever courses are going to happen. In other words, the branches, branch committee members meet on a regular basis and they go through the whole decision making process as to what will be provided locally. After that, the tutors have some have are consulted with in terms of how it's going to be operated and what content is going to be. And then, generally speaking, there is the the sense that the tutors are a bit like this, you know, the the troops on the on the on the battlefront of education, 
uh, and and do the implementation of the work well in the background the volunteers are involved in the political organization and the and the structural systems and the business of decision making and so on and so forth this means that people often come into the WEA as students that's to say come along to take a course get interested in what the WEA does outside of the course system itself then become volunteers and over a long period of time if they're really keen on the idea can often end up training to be a, be a tutor in their own right so that's what happened to me I, I, back in 84 I came along to do a course I ended up for two years being fascinated by the way not just the fact that I was at a course but also fascinated by the way the course was taught and how it was put together and how it was organized I ended up doing an awful lot of voluntary work for the WA and by 1986 I decided I wanted to do some teaching and uh, I did a, a qualification at my local FE college which brought me back into the WA as a, as a paid part-time tutor which is something I've been doing since 1986 continuously uh, at the time of this video it's now 2020 and uh, you know I've, I've had uh, 34 years worth of, of, of working continuously as a part-time tutor so why did I get so keen? Well, you see, the WBA operated on the basis that I was part of the business of my own learning. I was consulted about it. I had been to many other organisations, and especially doing things like A-levels and so on. And in the process of doing that, nobody had ever asked me exactly how the course should be taught, what should be in it, how the teaching should work, whether I liked the venue or not. Nobody asked me anything. I was just given it and, you know, at the end, maybe I was asked what I thought of the entire process, but nobody ever consulted with me about the course content. Um, when I was with the WEA, this was a constant factor. The tutor and the students negotiated as to what the course, what was going to happen within the course. And in the process of doing that, that meant that there was a very high commitment between the, the student group and the tutors for the, the, the direction the course was taking. So the, the students had a lot big say in the curriculum that was that was taking taking place. And for someone who had not been used to that, this was quite a revelation. I was totally astonished by that. I was also astonished by the fact that WEA was a highly democratic organization. It, it had local meetings and for branches, and then it had regional meetings, which happened in, in when I first began, it happened they happened twice a year. And at the local meetings, there was a, a considerable de degree of debate about things like how, what course fees would be for the coming year, you know, uh, what initiatives we would have outside the, the, the course uh, system, you know, cut, uh, discussion of the educational and political systems within the country and, with, and our responses to them in terms of policy and so on. And then coming out of those regional meetings, there was the, what was often the, often a most popular event which was the biennial conference which happened every two years uh, where all the branches throughout the entire country got together to meet and, and uh, how usually have a, have a, a booze up and a, a lot of discussion a lot of arguing an awful lot of arguing and arguing speech making drinking having a good time getting to know each other it was great fun and I thoroughly enjoyed it I learnt comradeship through the solidarity we had as all having a, the same commitment to this idea of adult education. And what was adult education for? Adult education was for changing us and changing the world around us. As we learnt, we changed. And because we changed, everything about us changed too. We gained the knowledge that enabled us to become different people. And because of our involvement in our local society through the branches or through other voluntary work we were doing outside of the WBA process, we were changing the world. And that, edu that was that feedback system of activity and learning and the process of doing it was for the betterment of society as a whole of which we were a part. Not everybody within the WBA was socialist. Not everybody in the WBA was a Labour Party member. In fact, quite a lot were not party me political party members at all. Some were Tory voters. The WBA is a very broad church. It doesn't have to be 
involved around socialism, though that's where it came from originally. Um, it's legendary, for instance, that the, in the WEA, some of the people who came out of the WEA's experience came from, you know, who became involved in politics on both sides of the political fence. Margaret Thatcher's father uh, apparently was chairman of the Grantham branch of the WEA. Neil Kinnock was a tutor organiser for the WEA in Wales. So, you know, just because you go through the WEA doesn't mean you have to have a certain kind of politics. But what you do have, and I'm sure this is the correct case with just about every single person who's ever taken part in this organisation, is a passion for education, a passion for change, and a passion for what you know the experience of living in a, in a in a in a changing world and learning about it. WA is about learning for change. WA is about learning for improving oneself. It's a very old-fashioned term, improving oneself. It's true. The WA tends to be against the idea of instrumentalism. That is to say, doing a course simply because one wants a better job or simply because one wants a qualification. Yes, the WA can ha offer courses that have qualifications and can have courses that lead on to work. But that's not why they're there. The idea is the course itself, the experience of learning, becomes the most important aspect of it, of it all. And I think one of the things that keeps the WEA different is its focus on that particular outcome, the idea of learning for social development, the idea of learning that is enjoyable, the idea of learning that is open-ended, the idea of learning that has a personal and social connection to it, the embedding of the individual within society and the way in which the reaction, you know, interconnection and reaction between the two provides the framework inside which social development and learning for social development operates. So the WEA, WEA as an organisation remains what you might call in the background of the, of the national educational scene. Certainly not as well known as, as maybe the further education colleges and universities are known. And very often when people, uh, when I say to people, you know, I work for the, the, work, the Workers' Educational Association, they say, what's that? And at one time I used to get quite embarrassed about that, you know, I used to get quite defensive about the whole process. Not anymore, funny enough, I now realise that the, the fact that WEA isn't terribly well known is because of the fact that it's, it, it has this kind of disparate feel of being uh, something that's in every nook and, nook and cranny of the country and is part and parcel of the sort of general framework of what education is supposed to be about. It isn't targeting a particular, you know, region or a, or a particular area or a particular subject area. It has this much more generalised background to it. I think that, in some respects, has been its greatest strength, and it's the reason why that, what you know, uh, 117 years later, we still have a WEA operating within the United Kingdom. That is extraordinary when you think about it. Also what's really important about this is the branch system still exists. Branches still have this strong strength and militancy to them and it's really important that we should sustain that. So if you're involved in the WEA course and you want to be involved in education of the type that you've experienced, Join your take take part in your local branch. Go along, and help out with what the branch is doing. Create new, help to create new courses. Help to develop this, the system of education that we have. Help to support courses by, you know, organizing venues, taking fees, keeping minutes, all the kind of day to day stuff that 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 local organizations do in terms of the way in which they work. These are really important aspects of keeping this organization going and keeping the, the association alive. WA's passion is undimmed and in fact probably more needed now than at any time in the past. 
with the WEA, there is a possibility of people becoming aware of the way their world operates in a greater depth and significance than you can get from any other source. At a time when we have more access to information than at any point in time, we now need the WEA in order to give us a compass within that particular sea, ocean, universe of information, to give us a way of managing the vast access to data that we have available to us. And if it does that, even if it does nothing else, and that's a really vital role that it, it could ha that it has, far more vital than in some respects its rivals. As we said that since the WEA came into being in 1903, other organisations have come along that have, that have been its imitators, as you might say, and have used similar sorts of ways of working. But there is only one original. There is only one original Workers' Educational Association. I hope that's been helpful. I hope that's useful. Um, if you want to hear more about it, please get in touch with me. Uh, B. Groves McDaniel, if you do a, uh, a, a search for me on the internet, I'm sure you'll come up with some contact details. Uh, but you could drop me a line on, on my email address, which is bgmcd, that's bgmcd, at gmx.com. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a good week. Take care out there. Bye-bye for now.